Hi everyone, welcome back to Useful Genetics. This is Lecture 7H, where we're finally going to get to the secret molecular side of meiosis and understand how the homo homologous chromosomes find each other and how crossing over happens. Um, all of this is mediated by base pairing. So we've answered two of our three questions about how meiosis solves its problems. It's able to ensure that each haploid cell gets a complete set of chromosomes by first pairing the homologs and then using the same separate the partners strategy that mitosis uses. The sets that result are a random mixture of chromosomes because when the homologs are paired, the kinetochores are oriented randomly and you can't predict which chromosome is going to get pulled to which pole. The final problem, randomizing alleles that are on the same homologous chromosome, is solved by crossing over. Crossing over also solves a couple of other problems that we didn't really mention. One is, how do the homologs recognize each other when they pair up? And how are they tied together so they don't come apart too soon? I'm going to start with a drawing of chromosomes in meiosis 1 to remind you what the problem is. What's wrong with this drawing? Something's definitely wrong. 